Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how to display test names by using at display name annotation in a JUnit. The at display name annotation is used to define a custom name for a test method or a test class. Well, displaying meaningful test names can make test results more readable and understandable, especially when running a large suit of test cases. This annotation helps provide descriptive names that improve the readability of a test results. By default, the test class name and test method names get printed when the test case is executed. Well, when we execute the JUnit test case, by default, the test name or class name gets printed in the results, right? But by using add display name annotation, we can customize the name of the test method as well as the test class. We will see an example how we can you know, customize the test name and test class. Add display name annotation takes string with the spaces between words, special characters and emo emojis as well. So we can pass, you know, the sentence. It contains special characters and emojis to the add display name annotation. All right. So let us go ahead and let us understand more about add display name annotation with example. So let us head over to the IntelliJ ID and go to our project. And go to the calculator class over here. So within this class, we have add method. Next, let's go ahead and let's add a couple of more methods to this class. So here, just type public and then give written type int. And let's give method name as subtract. And let's pass the parameters int a comma int b. And let's have a return statement return a minus b perfect similarly let's create a method for multiplication let me copy paste it and here let me change the method name multiply and here let's change the logic a into b okay next Similarly, let's create one more method for division. So here, let's view the method name as divide. Okay, and here let's change the logic a divided by b. And here we can also, you know, add the statement like if b equal equal to zero, then we'll throw the exception. So here throw new arithmetic exception let's say division by zero something like that now we have created a calculator class within that we have created add subtract multiply and divide methods next let us go and let us unit test all these methods using junit so go to the test package go to the annotations package over here right click on it new and then give class name as calculator test all right and within this test class let's create a test methods so here just type public wide let's give method name as add test next let us mark this method as a test method by annotating it with add test annotation Next, we can also reduce the visibility of this method by removing this public. Next, within this add test method, let's create an instance of calculator class. Next, let us call add method calculator dot add and then pass two comma three. Next, let's take a result of this add method in a local variable of type int and let's give method name. Uh, let's give local variable name as addition next let us use assert equals method to verify that the actual result is equal to expected result so here just type assert equals and here look at here the import is not coming so if the import is not coming then we can explicitly import this assert equals method and notice here assert equals method is a static method right and this method is from assertions class so here just type import static org dot junit dot jupyter dot api 
dot assertions dot star perfect so we are basically you know importing the static methods from this assertions class now if you go to assert equals and just press control space you will get a options okay next select this assert equals next let us pass the expected value for you we are expecting that 2 plus 3 is for you and then actual value addition perfect next let us run the test case and you can see test passed because the addition i mean the actual value is 2 plus 3 for you and the expected value is for you so both are equal that's why the test passed notice here by default the test class name and test method names gets printed in the result okay next let us say we want to customize the test class name and test method names then we can go ahead and use add display name annotation all right for example here let us first customize the test class name by annotating it with at display name annotation next let us pass the custom name let us say calculator operations test okay next let us go ahead and let us also customize the test method name by using at display name annotation over here and let us pass the custom name to this test method as test addition of two numbers perfect next let us go ahead and let's run the JNA test class and you can see here in the result the custom names are printed okay calculator operations test so this is the custom name we have given to the test class test addition of two numbers this is the custom name we have given to the test method okay now you can see this is the descriptive meaningful name that we have given to the test class as well as test method so this is how we can use add display name annotation to customize the name of test class as well as test methods okay perfect next let us also write couple of JNU test cases to test other calculator operations so here let me simply copy this JNU test case and let me paste it over here and here let's change the test method name let's say subtract test and here just call subtract method and then pass 3 a3 b2 and assert equals expected 1 and just change the local variable name let's call it as subtraction and then remove the addition and just pass subtraction perfect so here we used assert equals method to verify that the expected value is equal to actual value and you can see the logic 3 minus 1 1 so that is what we have given as expected okay and here let's give a meaningful name to this test by using add display name so here let me change the display name something like test subtraction of two numbers okay perfect next let us run the test and you can see the custom name for this you know test method is displayed in the result test subtraction of two numbers next we can also pass the special characters and emojis as a string to this add display name annotation as well for example let me pass the special character to this custom name add hash dollar percentage okay and if i run the test case you can see the custom name supports special characters okay even we can also pass the emojis as well for example let me go to browser and just let me browse for emojis emoji click on the post link and let's get one of the emoji so here just search for smiley face and just take this one and just copy it go back to test and here just paste it and run the test case and you can see the emoji 
All right, so this is how we can use add display name annotation to give a meaningful name or a descriptive name to the test class as well as test methods. All right, great. I will see you in the next lecture.